What the f is Rafane? If you're asking that question, well, that makes two of us because I've got no idea. Apparently, it's a new composite material you can make guitars out of. Uh, so, I got a new guitar here from this company called Rough Guitars, hence the name. And uh, they're made in Poland. And I've been dying to check this out. I got to play a couple at Guitar Summit in Germany. All I know is it's apparently inspired by science. Let's check it out. So I met one of the guys from Rough Guitars at NAMM last June. I got to play this yellow guitar. It was pretty fucking cool. I thought it was kind of a neat concept. And they had a full display at Guitar Summit last September in Mannheim. And I got to say, yeah, I thought the guitars played brilliantly. And this is the thing, you know, Rough wanted me to show you guys how well they package their stuff uh, for international shipping. Uh, the thing is, I don't know how well it's going to be now because apparently Canada Customs had other ideas. So yeah, they did a real bang up job retaping things yeah wonderful wow two pieces there <sighs> i'm sure the guys at rough are like no what they do oh yeah they didn't even bother to redo the staples great nice job guys wow super impressive i just hope they didn't fuck the guitar up in the process okay so what do we got here caution merch inside okay cool let's see what we got here oh uh, look at this i like that dear delivery service this is the bottom of the box please flip it back Hey, good idea. Maybe FedEx can hire some people that read. That would be a big help too. But anyway, let's see what we got here. We've got an internal box and apparently they sent me some goodies. So yes, it's much like on your birthday when you gotta open the cards first before you get to the toys. Same idea. Let's let's see what they sent me in the old merch box. Here. So we got, ooh, bubble wrap. Bass players, don't eat this stuff. And we got, ooh, looks like a shirt. And ooh, a shopping bag. Coffee mug, yes! Okay, now you guys are talking, okay. Ooh, a nice comfy t-shirt, sweet. Okay, cool. By the way, you guys hear somebody chuckling in the background there, that's Steve, the uh, the guy who helped me build the studio here and helped me build the, or, and built those amazing cabinets for me last year. Thanks so much for all your help, Steve. So yeah, Ruff wanted me to show off just how well their stuff's packed, so look at this, we're getting a nice hard shell case in here. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, we're just gonna pull this out. Woo! Thank you, Steve. Oh, look at that. That's a nice hard shell case. Now the moment of truth. Hopefully Canada Customs did not scratch this guitar. Hopefully they didn't play it. It's a nice case. Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, there it is. Oh, let's see that. Can we get a cutaway? Ooh, ah, oh, that smells nice. Okay, let's see what we get here. And yep. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Wow, that sits so nice. It balances so nice. And it's almost in tune and almost made it all the way from Poland in tune. And this is the thing. I think this is why you'd want to go with a composite guitar is for anything more than anything else, tuning stability. I mean, like there's a bunch of stuff on the website and I'm gonna have to go over this about, they're talking about tone, how it gets you your perfect tone. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm not quite falling for that line. Um, tone is going to come from the pickup and the amp and the speaker, and most importantly, from the speaker mic combination. But tuning stability, now that would be something to make a composite guitar out of because it's not going to be susceptible to heat or humidity. Definitely sustained like a guitar. And it's still going. Look at that neck joint. What neck joint? This guitar is all one piece. This whole instrument is just one continuous piece of material. The, the roughing. Let me, let me go put a strap on. Now, a bunch of you guys were asking, hey, Glenn, what the hell? Are you just going to compare every guitar you review on the show now to the Mustang V? And I'm thinking, yes, yes, I will, because that was a very high price point. The rough guitar... Uh, the retail version of this, this is the prototype, of course, the the retail for this is going to be a little bit more money than, than the Mustang V, but yeah, you're getting a custom guitar from a small shop, not, you know, something that came down an assembly line from a faceless corporation that doesn't pay its employees enough to give a fuck. So yeah, there is that. These guys want to make something out of themselves in the guitar world. So yeah, I th figured let's try and get some of those shops on the show, the smaller builders and see what they can make. Oh, S-Lock, strap locks. Okay, the original Shaler strap locks. So we got a strap on here and uh, let's stand up and do do the uh, drop test, see if, uh, if there's any kind of balance issue. So I'm just gonna go hands-free here. Hopefully it doesn't fall. 
Oh, and that balances absolutely perfectly. Wow. Cool. Just first observation here, every single curve of this body just feels perfect. This guitar is so comfortable and it's beautifully set up. There's no issues with the action or anything like that. Everything's just exactly where it needs to be. Tell you what, let me get this tuned up. Let's plug it in and hear what we get. All right, I am back. Man, I've been running into all kinds of technical issues between the beginning of this video and the next one. And it's mainly because I moved my computer over to a brand new Mac studio. Anyway, yes, I've had the guitar for a couple days, been playing it and absolutely fell in love with this thing. This thing is just beautiful. It just sits so well. The fit and finish are flawless. You know, maybe Gibson could take a hint there. Uh, yeah, no issues with the paint or anything like that. Not that I'm seeing, even though this is a prototype model. I don't know if it's paint or it's like, you know, baked right into the finish or whatnot. If you can see this, we've got, you know, some kind of a texture on, on the edges of the body. It's not quite on the front and whatnot and not on the back either, except for maybe the headstock. I don't know how they do that. Some kind of, you know, fabric was put into the finish or something like that and pulled off and that leaves that leaves that stamped pattern. Of course, we've got the hip shot locking tuners here. They're doing a very nice job and we've got a very nice hip shot bridge as well. As far as tuning goes, Yeah, it seems to do the job. What can I say? Yeah, this guitar is an awful lot of fun to play. I only had to adjust the truss rod by about a quarter crank and it is just playing absolutely perfect. I thought the action was just a little bit high uh, below the 12th and yeah, that quarter crank just got in that into absolute perfect zone. What can I say? It's just, this guitar just feels amazing. The Schrodinger 6 from Rough Guitars comes in what they call a dead cat finish and features a rich light fretboard. Now, Rich Light is made from recycled paper, which is saturated with resin and cooked under pressure, which creates a very durable material. The next scale is 25 and a half inches and comes with Jeskar stainless steel frets. Tuners and bridge are by hip shot, and the single pickup is a Fishman Fluence Modern. Now, my only gripe here. Seems like they need to tighten up the input jack a little bit. Uh, there's a couple cool features here about this. And number one is there is, a, it's a toolless entry to the rear cavity. Just all you gotta do is just pop it off and away you go. See, they did, you know, the little mini Faraday cage with the copper here to uh, help combat noise and whatnot. Here's the, here's the interior right here. My big issue is they need to screw this down a little bit more. Uh, once again, this was, they had this on the floor at uh, Guitar Summit in Germany. So I imagine a lot of people are playing this instrument, but they could have checked and tightened that up just a little bit because it, it is a, a tiny bit on the loose side. I can literally tune that, turn that with my finger. So I need to get out the tools and clean that up. So guys, $3,000 guitar. This is the kind of thing you need to check for. Uh, this seems to be, have like tiny little magnets in place hold, holding this in place. So, you know, just taking the cavity off and replacing it is just dead simple. I mean, it's just literally a case of not scratching up the instrument. It's just literally a case of snap it in place, we're good to go. That's a really cool feature. I wish more guitars had that. Uh, there's also no cover over the truss rod as well. So it's really super accessible, which is great. I mean, like I just uh, did an adjustment on a couple of my other guitars and I had, the, you know, the tiny little screw and trying to get that in place. It's like, yeah, I wish more guitars had this. This would just make life so much easier. But this guitar is just shred city. I mean, like up above the 12, everything, it just plays so nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, that's absolutely great. Uh, again, no issues with the action or accessing the frets or anything. Uh, once again, fit and finish, there's there's no issues with the frets poking out as I would expect on a composite made guitar. I mean, like that's the great thing. You're never gonna have to worry about the frets poking out because it's just not susceptible uh, to moisture and heat the way how that traditional wood is. So that's a big bonus in my opinion. Now we've only got one pickup here, but it is a Fishman Influence, active, modern, whatever the hell you wanna call it. And it does have the tone switch, I mean, is it really gonna make much of a difference? You tell me if you hear much here. Pretty tough call. Now the whole point for this video was to satisfy a demand from you guys. You guys wanted to see some guitars on the show that feature some small shop builders. And yeah, I think rough guitars uh, is building a very high quality instrument. Is it worth the 3000 euro price tag? Uh, yeah, probably because it's gonna stay in tune. And that's for anyway in the studio, that's probably the most important thing to me. Um, in terms of just not having to waste time constantly stopping to retune, retune, retune after every single take. Is it going to stay in tune flawlessly? No, it's not an ever tune, that's for sure. But tuning stability is a huge thing. And if I only have to retune after every three takes or every five takes or something like that, that's still going to speed up my workflow and help me get my job done faster. Now, this is what I'd call a first impression review video where I've only had the guitar for a couple days and play it and whatnot and try to... You're going to be seeing this guitar an awful lot on the show though because I just like the way it feels. So the plan is maybe come back in a couple months after I've had it for a little while and, and played it for a while and give you guys possibly a long-term review on this uh, just so you can get my overall opinion after a few months, see if it's changed at all. Right out of the gate though, I gotta say, yeah, Rough Guitars, you've got an absolute winner here. I can't wait to see what else you come up with because this thing is absolutely badass. And if I was a customer who was looking to spend money on a slightly more high-end guitar, um, I would have thought this was a way better deal than the Mustaine V I bought earlier this year. That's for sure. Just in terms of fit and finish and playability. Uh, yeah, this guitar is absolutely flawless. I mean, like a second pickup probably would have been nice, but I'm not bitching. Um, it does the job and it does it really well. And as far as metal machines go, oh yeah, this is definitely got it. <laughs> Now, if you want to find out more about Rough Guitars, check them out at roughguitars.com and ask the question, just what the hell is Ruffane anyway?